Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Bob with Work Truck Talk. Uh, today I'm standing in front of a 2022 4500 HD LCF diesel with a 150 inch wheelbase and this is a regular cab. Um, this uh, truck uh, being the 150 wheelbase is one of, I believe, three different options that um, Chevy offers. And um, that will allow for you to put a 16 foot body on this truck. Uh, that could be a rack body. It could be a combination of a dump um, with maybe a L-Pack or I-Pack. Uh, it could be a platform body. It could be any number of uh, configurations. Um, this truck is the, is the work truck uh, version of it. So I'll show you some of the uh, features of it. I've got some pictures I've, I've taken. I'll probably do a voiceover portion of this video so it's a little bit easier to follow along, but I'll just kind of do a quick walk around here with you. Um, this truck does have the um, enhanced audio system, uh, which includes a seven inch diagonal color touchscreen, AM, FM uh, radio. Uh, it's got I'm just going to turn the camera around so I can kind of give you a quick once over of it. So here's a truck. I think these are pretty sleek design. The, the one thing you'll notice when you're driving, I don't know if you've ever driven one of these, but they have such a great turning radius with the wheels under the cab the way they are. Um, you can really get these things into some tight quarters and uh, maneuver them a lot easier than a, a traditional cab chassis. Um, as you look at the frame, you can see it's a really clean um, frame line with there's, there's really no obstructions where you could do a, a nice upfit on this pretty easily. This one being the 150 wheelbase, you do have room for under body boxes if you wanted to put those under there on, on the driver's side anyway. Uh, there are some restrictions with uh, the exhaust, the DEF, and some other things, uh, especially when you get into the shorter wheelbases. But this is a pretty good size truck. You could put, like I said, a 16 foot body up to on this particular setup. So let's walk around to the cab. And so we can get up inside the cab. On the 4500, I'm gonna show you the ratings on this. I really like the way this truck opens up. It's got a really big, nice big entryway when you're stepping up into it. It's already got the step here for when you're getting into it. And let's just go right here real quick to the um, the ratings on this particular vehicle. Um, if you're reading this, and this is pretty, pretty well known, pretty common place to find all of these things. The GVWR on this truck is 14.5, which is gonna give you a good amount of payload on this truck. Uh, let's hop up into the cab. And it's, this is great because it's got, you know, very easily accessible. When you're getting into the cab, you'll notice it's got nice cloth seats with some adjustments on them for the, for the backrest. Uh, you could fit three people into this vehicle. This has a nice little fold down option. If you would rather have that space used for, you know, maybe you got a laptop or uh, some files or other documents that you need to put on there. But then you got your coffee cup holders, emergency brake. Yeah, this truck is an automatic transmission and um, it does come with a six speed automatic transmission. Uh, this is the work truck model of this truck. I'm gonna close the, close the door so you can get, I'm gonna start it right up for you. It's got some nice little creature comforts, but not anything crazy, being that it's a work truck. Nice diesel engine. Um, I don't know if you know much about this truck, but it does have over 450 pounds of torque on this diesel engine. It's, it's got a good amount of towing capacity. It's got, this truck has, 
Um, let's start over here on this side of the truck. It's got power up, down windows, which is, these windows are huge. You know, that's one thing that's really great about these is the visibility. You can just see, you know, when you're getting in and out of places, there is no design or no truck better to know where your front end is and where you are in relation to your surroundings than this this truck. I mean, it does come with a uh, backup camera. So right now, obviously, because there's no body on it, we don't have that capability set up yet. But once it has some sort of a body on it, it will. Um, so you've got your basic controls here for your you know, your lighted, you know, your uh, lighted um, dashboard, obviously. You've got power locks on this, which is very cool. You've got some different functions here. Um, check your oil levels. Um, this is, I believe, to reset your odometer. Uh, this is a button here that will turn on and off a rear light that you can set up on your um, the back end of the truck but right now there's nothing back there so there's nothing to turn on or off so over here we have the uh, lights so you can turn them off this is your parking lights you can have automatic lights on or off and this is part of your cruise control which is turned on or off on this side by depressing this button and then you can set your cruise control I'm coming out of focus here you can set your cruise control and resume your cruise control obviously you can disengage your cruise control by depressing the brake um, here's your basic uh, cabin controls as far as your air intake or Recycling, these are basic functions you'll see in just about any car. Your hazard lights. This truck does have an auxiliary input and a USB port, as well as your typical type of um, power charger. So that's kind of the gist of the inside of it. You do have this extra storage there. You've got some storage up above. You've got your cabin light. Um, and that is pretty much what you're going to find in this vehicle as far as features and functionality. It's more of a work truck than it is anything else. And that's what it's made, meant to do. It does have nice um, seats that are not vinyl. They're cloth. And so they're pretty comfortable, actually. You've got an extra storage bin here. Uh, your emergency brake is here. And then it's got nice rubber mats on the floor. Just to give you an idea on the turning radius of this vehicle, I'm backing it up right now. I figured I'm, I'm going to put it back in the parking spot. But look at this. It's kind of, and this does have a uh, tilt feature on the steering wheel. So you can tilt the steering column that I did not mention. But I'm just going to show you the turning radius on this, this truck is pretty fantastic. Look at this. I mean just can't you can't ask for four it's pretty great it's like driving a big school bus really and I'm gonna park it right back in row Here. And if you want to come down and see me, so you can get a closer look at it yourself in person. I think that's pretty good. Please do.
is the Bob with Work Truck Talk. Coming to you live today from Scranton Chevrolet. Talking about the uh, 2021 Chevrolet 4500 LCF diesel. And we just got two of them in with the 150 inch wheelbase. So uh, give me a call or shoot me a message if you would like to see them in person. Be happy to meet you down here. 